I am about to document my latest multi-camera, multi-live streaming setup using the Yola box and three video input sources. Video input number one comes from the Sony MC50 camcorder via a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. I use the camcorder to do the close-up shot of my demonstration. When I want to show the close-up shot, I switch to HDMI 1 on the YOLO box. Video input number 2 comes from the Samsung Galaxy S10 Android phone. The S10 is connected to the YOLO box via the USB-C port through a USB-C to HDMI converter and into HDMI input number two of the YOLO box. If I want to see the screen of my Android phone, all I have to do is to switch to HDMI 2 on the YOLO box. Video input number three comes from the Panasonic Lumix FZ2500 mirrorless camera. I use the Panasonic to capture the mid shot of my talking head. The Panasonic is connected to the YOLO box via a micro HDMI to HDMI via a HDMI to USB converter which then goes into the USB input port of the YOLO box. Whenever I want to see my talking head, I just tap on the USB input on the YOLO box. Now, if you look closely at the setup, I have activated split view, picture-in-picture -picture video, and side-by-side -side view. I started off the live stream using the picture-in-picture -picture configuration. In the picture-in-picture -picture configuration, I overlay the talking head shot over my Samsung Galaxy screen. As you can see over here, I can edit the picture-in-picture setup anytime I like by moving the overlay or resizing the overlay. Now when I want to present a slide, I will choose the side-by-side -side setup. So now my talking head is on one side and the Android screen is on the other side and behind is a selected graphic image. So when I want to change a slide, all I have to do is to change it on my phone. I can edit the side-by-side -side setup anytime by pressing on it and clicking on the pen icon. Inside the side-by-side -side editor, I can adjust the spacing and change the background image. Now, when I want to demonstrate the app on my phone, I will choose Split View. On one side of the Split View is my actual hand holding the phone, and on the other side is the screen capture of the Android display. As usual, I can adjust the Split View anytime. Inside the Split View editor, I can adjust the border thickness, the separator position, separator direction and to centralize or not to centralize. As you can see, I'm always in the audio section. Why? Because I have sounds coming out from the Samsung Galaxy S10 as well as my voice coming out from the camera. However, YOLO box doesn't mix the two audios. So whenever I want to hear the sound coming out from the phone, I will have to switch to HDMI 2. And if I want to hear my voice coming from the microphone, I have to switch to switch back to HDMI 1. So there's a lot of switching back and forth. 
So I wish Yolo Box could do a mix of both audio sources. Next, if you can see at the bottom left hand side of the display, you see three green circles, meaning that it's going out live now to Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Yes, as I'm recording this, it's still going live. I'll put a link below so that you can see the recorded version of this live session. At the same time, I'm also recording my live. The recording goes into the SD card, which is slotted from below. 0% dropout, probably because I've connected the YOLO box directly to the internet via an ethernet cable. Whenever I'm streaming for a few hours, I want to make sure that the YOLO box is always powered up via the USB power adapter. On the bottom left hand side is an audio monitoring output. I use this to monitor the sounds going out to the internet. Now let me show you the entire setup including the tripod with dolly wheels, ring light, and my favorite chair which looks like a gaming chair. If you like what you have seen so far, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you haven't done so, subscribe! This is Adrian Lee from Video Lane. See you in the next one.